a mystery interstellar object that was spotted by astronomers last week. It could be the oldest comet ever seen. It's the only the third time that we've actually detected an object that has come from beyond our solar system. This is the first we saw of it, a mysterious interstellar object. It is only the third time we have detected an object that has come from beyond our solar system. Something entered our solar system and it shouldn't exist. It defied gravity, had no visible propulsion, and came from deep interstellar space. Some called it a comet. Others say it's alien technology. Its name is Umomo, the first known visitor from another star system. In this video, we'll uncover its bizarre behavior, the heated scientific debates, and real missions now being planned to chase it across the stars. Because what we don't know might change everything. In October 2017, astronomers looking through telescopes in Hawaii noticed something strange. A long, dark object was racing through our solar system faster than anything we'd ever seen. It wasn't orbiting the sun. It wasn't following the rules. It was just passing through. And by the time we realized it was there, it was already leaving. Its name, Umumaya, a Hawaiian word meaning scout or messenger from afar. A fitting name, since this wasn't just any rock, it was the first confirmed interstellar object ever detected in our solar system. It didn't behave like a comet, it didn't look like an asteroid, and at one point, it even accelerated all by itself. Was it natural? Was it artificial? Could it be alien? We'll explore other mysterious space objects just like it. And the bold plans to send a mission across the galaxy to chase it down. Because whatever this thing was, it wasn't from here. And it may not be the last. We often imagine our solar system as a peaceful, isolated bubble of planets calmly orbiting the sun, far from any outside chaos. But in reality, we're just one tiny system drifting through a galaxy teeming with debris, comets, and mysterious interstellar objects. Surrounding us, far beyond Neptune, lies a frozen frontier called the Oort Cloud, a vast shell of icy bodies that could stretch nearly a light year from the sun. Think about that, it's so distant. Some parts of it may be closer to other stars than to us. Scientists believe that trillions of comets live in this deep freeze. Most of them spend millions of years just floating in silence. But once in a while, something nudges them. A nearby star passes too close. A gravitational ripple from the galaxy shakes the cloud. And suddenly one of these ancient bodies is flung inward, hurtling near the inner solar system, or catapulted out, becoming a lonely traveler through interstellar space. And it's not just us. Every star out there probably has its own version of an Oort cloud, which means objects are constantly escaping their home systems, crossing the galaxy like cosmic messages in a bottle. In fact, some researchers estimate that up to 10,000 interstellar objects might pass through our solar system every single day. But they're small, they're fast, and they're dark, so we don't see them. Except for once, in 2017, we did. And what we saw changed everything. Let's take a closer look at what astronomers saw when Umamo first arrived, and why it immediately shattered everything we thought we knew. On October 19, 2017, at the Halikawa Observatory in Hawaii, a telescope named Pan Stars picked up something strange. It looked like a faint point of light moving too fast. At first, astronomers thought it might just be another comet, so they named it C-2017, but something was off. There was no coma, no tail, and none of the fuzzy glowing features we expect from a comet heating up near the sun. So they reclassified it as an asteroid, calling it A2017U1. Then they did the math. They plotted its trajectory, and that's when jaws started to drop. This object wasn't from around here. Its path through space was hyperbolic, an open curve, not a closed orbit, which means Oma wasn't circling the sun. It was passing through, it came from the stars. 
It was the first confirmed interstellar object ever observed in our solar system. With that realization, it was renamed Al Mua Mua Mua, a Hawaiian word that means scout or messenger from afar, a name that felt unsettlingly appropriate, but things got even weirder. Mua Mua didn't look like any space rock we'd ever seen. As it spun through space, its brightness flickered fast and dramatically every seven hours. That suggested an unusual shape, possibly a long cigar-like body or a flat disc-like pancake. It wasn't just spinning, it was tumbling chaotically, like a stick thrown into the air and its surface. Some observations suggested it was 10 times more reflective than typical asteroids, possibly metallic or covered in a shiny crust, hardened by eons of interstellar travel. So now we had a mysterious, fast-moving object with no tail, a bizarre shape, a reflective surface, and it came from outside our solar system. But the most shocking part of this story hadn't even happened yet. What it did next left the world's brightest minds speechless and forced some to ask, could this object be artificial? As Oumu moved away from the sun, astronomers expected it to slow down, just like every other object affected by gravity. That's basic physics. No mystery there. But that's not what happened. Instead, Oumu accelerated. It sped up. No engines. No visible outgassing. Nothing detectable, just a silent, steady boost in speed, as if something was pushing it from behind. Let's be clear, this wasn't some dramatic rocket blast. The acceleration was subtle, about 17 millimeter size, but it was real, measurable, and it defied every known explanation. Astronomers immediately turned to the most logical culprit. Maybe Umiomoa was a comet after all. Maybe it released gas jets as it got close to the sun, like a comet would, and that gave it the tiny push. But there was a problem. There was no visible coma, no tail, no trace of dust, no glow. And when the Spitzer Space Telescope, one of the most sensitive infrared observatories we have, spent 30 hours observing Omama, it detected nothing. No gas, no heat, nothing to suggest it was venting material and yet it was still accelerating. It's as if something, something invisible, was propelling this object forward through space. Some scientists suggested it could be a comet with extremely clean, invisible gases like pure hydrogen. Others theorized it could be reflecting sunlight in a unique way that gave it an extra boost, but none of the standard explanations fit all the data. That's when one Harvard scientist stepped forward with a radical idea, one that would ignite controversy across the scientific world and make headlines around the globe. When traditional explanations began to fall apart, one scientist decided to say what others were only whispering. Avilo, a Harvard astrophysicist, published a paper suggesting something bold and wildly controversial. El Mua, he argued, might not be natural at all. It could be alien technology. According to Loeb, if Umama was extremely thin, like less than a millimeter thick, it could act as a light sail, a type of propulsion system that uses radiation pressure from a star to move through space. Think of it like a cosmic surfboard riding the light of stars. He pointed out that the object had an unusual shape. It was accelerating without visible thrust and it was highly reflective, possibly metallic. Loeb believed this could be a deliberately constructed probe sent by an advanced civilization, a scout, a messenger, maybe even a relic. Naturally, the scientific community pushed back hard. Enter Daryl Seligman, a postdoctoral researcher who wasn't convinced by the alien idea. Instead, he proposed a more grounded but still exotic explanation. What if Umuam was made of pure hydrogen ice? Hydrogen is invisible in space and wouldn't leave a detectable trail. If the sun heated it up, it could release gas jets without us ever seeing them. A neat natural explanation. But again, problems. Evilob responded, 
showing mathematically that hydrogen ice would evaporate long before reaching us, even in the coldest parts of space. So Seligman revised his theory again, teaming up with Jennifer Bergner, a chemistry professor, to propose that pockets of hydrogen might be trapped inside water ice. They base this on real lab experiments. Under extreme radiation, ice can store hydrogen and release it when warm. Their new theory, Umamuyo wasn't a comet, asteroid or alien craft. It was something new altogether, a dark comet. One with invisible outgassing, no tail and no dust, a hidden force, a hidden category. But Loeb wasn't done. He doubled down, writing more papers, accusing critics of flawed math and sticking to his belief that natural explanations were stretching too far and that the alien hypothesis, while extraordinary, best fit the facts. And that's where things stand today, a scientific stalemate between two very different views of the same event. One says, nature can still surprise us. The other dares to ask, what if we were visited? And as wild as that may sound, there are other objects out there that behave just as strangely. So what if Oumuamu Ae isn't alone? Let's look at the other mysterious interstellar visitors that have passed through our solar system and what they might reveal. Oumuamu may have been the first, but it wasn't the last. Just two years later, in 2019, another interstellar object entered our solar system. This one was called 21 Borisov, named after the amateur astronomer who discovered it. But unlike Umyoma, Borisov looked a bit more familiar. It had a coma, a tail, and behaved like a classic comet. It wasn't mysterious because of how it moved, but because of what it was made of. Its composition was strange. It carried more carbon monoxide than almost any comet we've ever observed, and its materials didn't match what we typically find in our solar system. It was like opening a time capsule from a different star, a completely different kind of chemistry, proof that other solar systems build very different worlds and throw them out into space just like ours. But the story doesn't stop there. There are other odd objects already inside our solar system. Objects that weren't just passing through. They might have been captured. Take C1980E1, for example. Originally from our solar system, it got too close to Jupiter during its last orbit and was slingshotted out. Now it's on a one-way trip to interstellar space. The opposite has happened too. Some objects may have come from other stars only to be slowed down and trapped by Jupiter's gravity. Astronomers suspect Makals 1 and Hayakotaike, C1 1996b2, are captured interstellar comets based on their unusual orbits and odd chemical signatures. And then there's 5.14.7 Kaikapoakapula, an asteroid that shares Jupiter's orbit but moves in the opposite direction retrograde, completely unnatural in behavior. Could it be a fossil from another star system? It's possible. But what if we didn't just observe these cosmic visitors from afar? What if we could catch one, chase it down, and unlock its secrets directly? That's exactly what scientists are now preparing to do, and it starts with a mission like no other. By the time scientists realized what al mol -Mo -Mo was, it was already 33 million kilometers away, moving too fast, too far, and fading into the dark. We watched it slip through our fingers. But what if we could change that? What if we could catch up to the first known visitor from another star system? Project Lyra, a bold initiative from the Initiative for Interstellar Studies, says we can, their mission is simple in concept but nearly impossible in execution. Design a spacecraft fast enough to intercept Uamoa, even though it's already billions of kilometers ahead. To do that, scientists are considering two possible trajectories. 
The first plan involves launching a spacecraft from Earth to Jupiter, then using Jupiter's gravity to fall toward the Sun. At its closest point, just before the Sun's heat melts it to pieces, the spacecraft fires its engines in a maneuver called the Solar Abirth Maneuver. This gives it a massive boost in speed, catapulting it out of the solar system at over 70 kilometers per second. That's fast enough to catch Oumuamiya. But there's a problem. Getting that close to the sun requires extreme heat shielding, like what NASA used on the Parker Solar Probe, and it would take decades to reach the target. The second option skips the sun entirely. It uses a series of gravity assists from Venus, Earth, then Jupiter to fling the spacecraft in the direction of Oumuamua. It's slower than the Oberth maneuver, but it's less risky, easier to control, and makes it possible to slow down once it reaches the target. Critical for getting real data, Project LIDAR estimates a launch window between 2030 and 2033, an arrival by 2048, yes that's over two decades from now, but for the first time humanity would be sending a probe outside the solar system to chase something that isn't ours. And that's not all. In late 2025, a new telescope will come online, the Vera C. Rubin Observatory. It will scan the sky night after night, building the most detailed map of the cosmos we've ever had. Scientists believe it could detect up to 70 Oumuamua, like objects per year. And then there's the Comet Interceptor mission, set to launch in 2029. Its plan wait in space, ready to ambush a newly discovered comet or interstellar object. The target, still unknown. It's the first mission in history designed for a cosmic surprise. These tools could revolutionize our ability to study messengers from other star systems and maybe, just maybe, catch the next one before it escapes. Oumuamua reminded us of something we often forget. We're not alone in the galaxy. Maybe not in the way sci-fi imagines, but in the sense that the universe is alive, dynamic, and constantly sending messages our way. The only question is, will we be ready to catch them next time? Because if we wait too long, the truth might pass us by again. And if you think this was mind-blowing, wait until you see what's coming next. Click on the next video, it'll leave you questioning everything you thought you knew about space.